<laughs> Come on now, Buck. Probably one of the most frustrating things with black fishing is when do I swing? You'll be standing there holding your rod, nice and still, you don't want to let it bounce. Then you're gonna feel a little scratch bite, which is the most textbook way they're gonna bite first. They're coming up there and chilling on the crab. A lot of guys like that are novice to this, they say, oh, you gotta set the hook before you get the bite. Well, it's totally wrong. You'll feel your scratch bite, and it really feels like somebody just scratching on the rod and you gotta wait. It might take 30 seconds, it might take a minute, and all of a sudden you'll start to feel harder thumps. When you set the hook on a blackfish, there's a little bit of a shock value. There's about a 10-foot buffer zone. That's your 10-foot of lead to be able to get a big blackfish out of the structure. When you hit the fish, the rod comes all the way to the top, and you start to crank here. A lot of times when you hit them, they will come up with the bait as a little bit of a shock. You start to crank, and when he realizes he's going the wrong way, he's gonna dive back down to the wreck. That 10 foot of buffer zone is your only shot of getting him away from there. You have to take advantage of that at all times. <laughs> That's called the Coke twist. A lot of guys won't do that. 